Telling the truth now, the British is free our people. Stop this stuff. And then guess what happened? They left. He was able to convince everything and he left. And guess what they did? They still didn't leave the, the, the United States. But they were still in what? New York. They were still in other parts, but they just left because of that the bad life. And, and, and as a result of that, the Quaker was like, oh, man, hey, man, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know, we got, we, we got to do something. We got to do something else because they, they was out there vandalizing in those streets. And so what they did was for them, they ended up passing something called the, the Emancipation Act. It's an act. Right? 1780 Emancipation Act. And that act was that the Africans would be given their freedom in 28 years. Mm -hmm. They would be legally free on January the 1st, 1808. Wow. And that, that, that day came. And it was what? According to the Emancipation Act, that was passed in the House and Senate and the government. They was in Pennsylvania legally free. And what year I said it was? 1808. Oh, I said that get weird, too weird. They were not, I said free, it was still not at 1860 what? Wow. Four. 1865. Uh, in that period. We got there. They were talking about freedom, these Africans being free in 1808. Now, did everybody honor it? No. no. But I tell you what, they gradually began to honor. They were honored. And by 1850, the last African in Philadelphia was what? Great. And that's say 1865 or 64? 1850. Can we hear? was free what? Before then? 1850. Adam was free before the Emancipation Proclamation. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. By way of those papers. Question. And, and so, yeah, great. Were there three Africans before 1808? Were there three Africans before which? And where? Philadelphia. They, they, you know, they had three Africans prior to that. Mm -hmm. they, you know, but we talk about legally. You know, we talk about, you're not free until what? To me. The whole is free. Until? The whole. Everybody. Everybody's free. You know, let's think about Juneteenth. You're not free. There was some, but they did because, because of the Quakers, because of they, what they did was that emancipation, I mean, the, uh, uh, the, um, when they was able, the bonding system, they was able to do it, you know, seven years. You know. And they, they did those seven years in, and somebody got off before seven years, you know. And somebody came in here, you know, somewhere hit somewhere, and they was free, you know. But they didn't have no master. But that's what actually happened of, of these, 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 uh, these Africans. Then we asked me a question, I got to go back to what? <laughs> where, where, I was, uh, where I was at. Now, here you had these Africans that was free in uh, 18, what, 1850 in Philadelphia. And because they were free, then, you know, if I was in like uh, Virginia or South Carolina or wherever, hey, freedom is where? Philadelphia. 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 <laughs> hey, that's freedom over there. I'm coming. Hey, they can get over there. You know, and, you know, and then, hey, so Africans were beginning to migrate. The number one site in the United States for Africans in, this, in, in the United States, we're here. Philadelphia, because of. And as, as, as Philadelphia, the Africans go to Philadelphia, now one of the things is that the Irish, they was like considered the uh, bad sheep, <laughs> you know, they, 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 of, the, of their family. And, you know, and they was going through all kinds of stuff because, you know why? They was 
So, you know, they was, they was doing all kinds of bad things, to put it that way. <laughs> sure enough. And people say, oh man, hey, look at them. You know, you know how you see them. You know, hey, look at them. He's out there on the street doing this. Look at them. They're fighting and doing that. Oh, they're so bad, you know. And so what they decided to do, they decided to like basically like almost colonize them. Mm. And, and anyway, you know, ladies like, you know, like ask permission to do this. So, you know, we had to go for a lot. <laughs> Yes, it is. And so one of the things is that they ain't like that, right? You know, and, and who did I say was the first, well, the person who came to, to America? His name was what? William Penn. And he was what? Uh, Irish. Hey, man, hey, brother, what's up, man? Can we come on? He was head of the Navy, too. He was head of the Navy. Yeah, yeah, you know, come on over, you know, get, get all that. And so when they came at the time in the 1830s, when who was also coming in? You know, there was the Africans and then the Irish, and the Irish is like, you know, they want a job. And the European don't want to give them a job, right? Because we, we know who you are. They <laughs> give you no job. And this is it's those Africans that are doing it. They stopped us from getting them jobs, and they didn't get them jobs, you know? And they won't give it to us, and so they're upset. And so because they're upset, they start doing what? Mm -hmm. Riots. Yeah. Riots attacking who? African Americans. In the what? Community. Streets of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Burning the churches down. South Philadelphia. Eleven from Lombard. But, you know, now, we have to also understand, because he says South Philadelphia, I want you to also understand with these African We said William Pitt came into where? To Pitt Landing. So, right down there in that area, Right down in that area, right there, was what? The beginnings, right? So you had the Africans was there also. So the Africans, and the Indians right there did the water. But the Africans also, right, you know, right up in there because they, you know, they with their masters, you know, they, right there around where? Where they at? That's Lombard, that's what? South, South Street. South, you know. You know. Now, 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 now. Right in that area, so you had all of these Africans. Now, just you can see it today. Yeah, but they, that's where the Africans ran right around, Lombard South, you know, right up the air going up a little bit. And they went all the way to where? Where, where, Doom, where uh, uh, Doom, they just did the thing at? Um, so, yeah. It's important what? They go to that, yeah. They do what? They just all up to that area. Yeah. That's where the Africans, and they went a little further over to that ground street where you had African uh, Mother Zor. They are four from Brown, so they went over there, which was another underground river site, and, and they had abolitionists also there at that site. So they went all the way over to there. So here you have these Africans right in that area. And where, where are the Irish at? Where are the Irish at? Next door. Now, imagine, everybody know where that area is. South Street, mm -hmm. right? Everybody know where that area is at? Right over there, that's going towards what? Going south is going towards what? Washington, Catherine, and mm -hmm. that's where they was at. Just on the just on that cup where the Africans was at, they was there for their oil. So they had to go, they wanted to go to that town, they had to go through there, and you know, these Africans up there, they were they wouldn't give them jobs, so guess where they would be? On the corner. <laughs> Now that they on that corner, we can't get by there, man. And so, man, it's too much, they get the job. So what they decided to do is uh, uh, got a little plot, and they said, we're going to start attacking them, we're going to burn their churches down, we're going to burn their buildings down, we're going to kill them. Some of them. And they, 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 they did that. And so, in, in, in the first African-American parade was in... Mm -hmm. Brother was on the battlefield. I'm telling you, brother was on the battlefield. Uh, I'm from the African National Congress, ANC. We have just celebrated 107 years of existence. And on uh, May 8th, there was election where there were 48 parties vying to be in government. But lo and behold, the ANC came up number one. And those who were number two, number three, they were far behind. They were Twenty percent, fifteen percent, but the ANC got over fifty percent. Yes, nice. Here, over one hundred and seven years, the ANC is still strong, though they are trying to fight the ANC because, uh, as I'm mentioning, the forty-eight parties 
they were all saying we are fighting the ANC. Whether it's with the ANC or what it is, we're saying, go and vote. We fought for the right to vote. Vote for whoever you want. But the other parties, 47 of them, don't vote for the ANC. But lo and behold, people voted for the ANC. Thank you, Mr. Representative. Well, Nelson Mendel here in the United States. And what's his name? For the ANC. ANC. For the ANC. He, he, he was, he was Nelson Mandela's representative. I took his picture Nelson before Nelson I just Mandela said. Nelson here yeah. to represent mm -hmm. ANC. I just want to share you who that was for you. I didn't get it. Okay. It's a part of our family. Yeah. Thank yes. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And so I was talking back to those. And so I, I'm trying to give you, and they told me I got uh, up to a certain time. So I'm, try, I'm trying to get you, and I'm going to try to bring you back to where Juneteenth is. Where Juneteenth is. And so as I said, the, the, those Irish attacked them. And so as a result of those, those, those attacks, there was constantly attacking them in the streets and doing this throughout. Even the, in, in 18, uh, um, 18, uh, 40, actually 1832, the, uh, uh, an organization called the Vigilante, which we was just at, was able to, uh, they had the 150th anniversary, we was just at it this past Saturday. And it's only 20 men, distinguished men, that's a part of this organization. Only 20 can be in this organization. And this gentleman invited us, my queen, to, uh, to be a part of their annual event that they do since. And it was the first one, Social Organization. Yeah. Oldest African American Social Club in Pennsylvania. What is this? Uh, uh, Very Vigilante is the name. You know, and it's 20 black men. And, 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 and their history goes back, uh -huh. where they were also an uh, underground railroad. They were taking people to the underground railroad. <coughs> and so they, 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 um, they were abolitionists also. And they had the first African American parade in Philadelphia. Right there wow. at South Street. Right there uh, between, between 4th up to between 8th. What year? 1832. Oh, okay. And, and they was having a parade to give recognition to the Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. okay. So who received their independence eight years prior to that. And so they had their independence flag. I've never seen this of, a, of, a, of an African with chains, you know. Mm -hmm. And so they had the flag, and he's up there like, you know. And so they had the flag, the flag and the you know, Irish says, man, man, look at that flag, man. And see what they did? They said that flag. They attacked all those Africans in those streets. Dog. Hitting them with bats, hitting them with this, that, this, that. You know, they broke up the parade. Because they they hit them with all kinds of things. This is how they were. It's, you know, they, they would go to churches and just do it. You know, the Abolition Society would have something. I said they burned the building now. <laughs> they, this is how they were. This is what the Africans had to go through in South Philadelphia. Those Africans. This is what they had to go through with the Irish. You know. And it happened not only. And you know, who was the Irish allegiance to? The English. Only English and who also in the United yeah. States. Yeah. Yeah. South? Who's yeah. South? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> The whole legion of Democrats and these legions too. I mean, that's that, that's that, but they're dealing with, you know. That race, and they all have to be over there and down here with these people over here because they're part of that, you know. And so that's how they were dealing with, and that's what the Africans had to go through because all the Africans came into, you know, they had to go through that. But they, what? They survived. They survived. They got what? And so, you know, it's so interesting that. Those Africans, on, and when, uh, uh, with the Africans in 1850, they were free. And then in 1863, what, what happened? Now they're trying to get Lincoln, who was, you know, 18, 1860, you know, he became what? And, you know, he, he became what? 
And president. president. Yeah. And before that, he would take up the hey man, come on man, please. No nah, man. You know, I'm like, no, no. I'm gonna do it. You know, I you know, I tell you what, you work this out, you know. Maybe, maybe we'll, I'll do it in, in, in Washington. I'll do it maybe in Washington, right there, you know, over there. We do it just in Washington. Now Washington is a border state, right? You know, because on the other side of Washington too. Maryland. Maryland, and that was a border state, you know. Yeah, that was a Virginia. So we started what? The Confederacy. So people don't know in Virginia was the what? It was the Confederate what? White House. Yes, sure. Is it where? Virginia. I'm finding so many, so many different mentalities today. It seems hard. It seems hard. It seems challenging. It seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, so, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready for this challenge.